You're tight. Nice toad. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm smoking toads right now. All right, what is going on, you guys? Adam Lucer, welcome back to another video of Moving Weight Fishing. And today, I'm with my buddy CJ, and we're catching some toad fish. That's their nickname, otherwise known as puffer fish, checkered puffer fish. Now, these things are delicious, and I'm actually in the back of my buddy Lenny's house. He's up at college. Shout out to Lenny for letting us come do this. Thanks, buddy. And uh, love you, Lenny. We got a little chum bag sitting right now. Sit with some shrimp in it. It's down there. I don't want to pull it up. We got the toadfish pretty aggregated. Let's let's see if Jay can catch one live here. I think you're tight, Jay. Yep. Look. No. Oh, king toad. King toad. <laughs> king toad. <laughs> live action. Live action. King toad here from the Siege Meister. And uh, okay. Look at these things. You guys, if you've ever caught a pufferfish, you see they puff up. Look at the size. Oh, that's a giant. Ice. All right. So let's see the rig we got, Jay. All right. This is some top secret. Yeah, it's very top secret. No. Very top secret. He's kidding. This is super easy. Anyone can do it. Long shank. Little, little piece of sustenance. Little piece of scrimps. Shrimp, fish bite. And he's dropping it down right on our bag of chum. And you kind of just see your line start slowly moving off and you'll lift, lift your rod up. Look, he's got one right there. Yep. Oh, oh Jay, had him on. Had him on. They, they, they're aggregating. <laughs> I'm going to put the head mount <laughs> So funny because it's it, it, it like seems so stupid, but oh, I think you're tight. They are they're aggregating, they Jay. Aggregating. Like, like I, I told Jay, I'm like, we gotta go to Lenny's house. Like I'm telling you, these things are always here year round. So this time of year, September and October, these toadfish come in the inlet and in the river, and they spawn by the thousands. You can actually catch them if you find them in the inlet or wherever it is. You can cast net them and, and really put a hurt on them. But CJ said he wants like 40, 50. Is that right? Yeah. Do a real fish fry Not and real, very sustainable. Very sustainable, yeah. No, it is. There's so many of these things, and there's no size limit, correct? No. No size limit. Um, We've thrown back a bunch of little ones. Yeah. Face tight. They're they're ag just, dude. CJ's literally sat here and pulled four while I've tried to film an intro. But there's no size limit. You can keep however many. Yeah. What about in federal waters? <laughs> No, he's kidding. I'm gonna go get the head mount and uh, we're gonna deal some toadies. Right now, like I said, we got our chum bag sitting right under us. The sun just finally came out. Usually, you wanna do this on low tide so you can see these fish and say, oh, Jay's tight. Jay's so tight. It's not on it. Usually, you wanna do this on low tide so you can see them and sight fish them. Um, we can't see them right now. We're literally just dropping another chum bag, hoping for the best, but they're obviously there. You know, Jay's putting a little hurting on them. I'm gonna put the head mount on and and help the Siege Meister out here. He hasn't had a bite in a minute, so I don't know. Give it a shake. Oh, one might have just been asking. I gave it a little shake. Yeah. yeah. Siege piece. Okay, it doesn't... Like nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you get the shell, the meat, whatever. All, we're freelining them, I got 10 pound test. That doesn't matter either. Literally, it, these fish are not smart, nothing. There's no finesse, you just drop straight down and kind of lift your rod tip up and see if you're tight. That was a nice bite. That was a really nice bite, boys and girls. Jay, you got a real nice one there. I just got freaking nan peppered. Toadsies. So this is the average size. You guys will see him puff up here in a sec. Jay, 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 bit me off. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't recommend fishing 10 pound, boys and girls watching at home. You guys see they puff up, I guess, so. <laughs> Put him in the bucket. All right, I need to get another hooks. Jay, drop over here. I don't know what you're doing. You're fishing over there, buddy. I, so what? You were whacking them. I, Let's... I know, and I didn't get bit in like five drops. Okay, drop on the chum. Yeah, you're eight. You're literally eight. Jay's eight. Elite. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Lenny Meister. I was telling CJ, I mean, we got to go. He's like, really? Are they that solid? I called Lenny. He goes, I was like, you think they're there? He goes, I've never not seen them there. I, honestly, this is this is like a you, to catch them like this. It's kind of got to be a seasonal thing at Lenny's Dock. I think it's like this year round. 
I really do. It's a hidden gem. CJ looks like he's sitting right now. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Jay Foolery. <laughs> Seeing what he can do here. I'm, I'm sitting down. Let my bait organically soak. Oh, Jay's tight. Jay's so tight. Get him. Get him. Not there. Is there? Yeah, Jay. Oh, that's Ooh. a nice one. Wait, wait. He's not there, he says. Excuse me. <laughs> wait, yeah, put him up in the camera. It's like Ermin the Knight. It really is like Ermin. Let go. No, I'm just going to hold it on. Jay, you're putting on a clinic here. If you'd let me catch a couple for, you know, my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate that. All right, you got, see, see my line starting to move a little? I'm going to let them, you know, organically. Oh, my goodness. I don't think you had it. I think I got a, I think I jumped the gun there. One time they're getting scarce. We got like 10 right now. How are they not like swarming the chump? I don't know. I mean, they were. I don't know if we extincted them. This is a micro puffer, boys and girls. He's sadly not going to make the cut. He could be a little chicken wing, but we're going to let him go. Chick skin wing. All right, so the bite definitely slowed down. CJ's caught a nice perch. This one's for Eugene. We probably have like 12 puffers in the bucket. And we're going to regroup and get back out there tomorrow. So stay tuned. Do not click off the video. Drop a like on it right now if you're enjoying it so far. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not ready. And me and CJ are going to put a serious hurting on them. We're probably going to catch like 40 more tomorrow. And I'll get some underwater footage of them eating. And I might even throw the cast net on them. And then we're going to have a giant fish fry at the beach club with all of our buddies. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, we are back at it again at Lenny's Dock. It was a little bit windier today, so sorry about the wind noise. We got Jay again. He's cutting up some chunks, getting ready. And uh, we got a chum back out, once again, soaking. And also, once again, here, I'll show you this chum bag. We just got a little bag with some shrimp in it, just for the scent. Get it all nice and organic, and I'm actually gonna do a little pitch. Just like that, beautiful. And um, once again, we missed the tide. You guys can see the tide is high again. Like I said, you usually you should be able to see bottom here. It's a little bit lower, but the tide's still coming in. High tide's at five, it's like 350. We were both busy this morning, we couldn't do it on low tide. So, put the headband on, let's catch some more toadies. We're in a huge cookout tonight. We got a couple buddies, caught some slot snook this morning, so you guys are gonna see that. You probably already saw that in the thumbnail as well. Some slot snook, we're gonna cook up some snook, some toadfish, have a huge fish fry, we're at the beach club, so stay tuned for that, it's gonna be really cool. All right, you guys already know, same deal as yesterday. You guys can't tell it was yesterday because it's literally going from clip to clip for me. I had to go to sleep, eat food, eat sustenance, lay up, you know me. But I'm dropping down, see if I can lay up on a toad here. Who knows if we extincted the population already. Who knows? Jay's on a meat call right now. Oh, Jay, Jay, I just got toted. Sit right there. And I'm just dropping it down. I'm letting it free fall and uh, we're getting laid up on. Actually? Mm-hmm. Yo, why is the bag like floating so far away? I just pushed it out more. Oh my God, dude, they're there. I had two nice toad bites. Look, see these rocks? They yeah. aggregate on. Oh, wow. nice perch, but wrong specimen of coal here. If you guys snook fish, which you probably do because you watch the channel, that is literally the best snook bait on the market. Way better than a croaker in my opinion. Snook, destroy these things. I think it's gonna be a big toady here, Jay. Oh yeah, look, look up. Wow. What, did I not call that with every bit of me? You did, you called him in. So look, this isn't a giant by any means, but, Jay, you say this average? 
A little small? Yeah, a little smaller than average. A little smaller than average, but it's going to taste delicious. Oh, that was one right there. Was it? Yeah. So you just got to call him in with the chum. That's all it is out here. Yeah. That doesn't look too good. Nice oh. Toadies. Dealing them. All right. Two toadies down. See if we can get on a quick pull. Yesterday, once we started catching a couple, it was like bang, 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 shrimp. You know? Let's see what we can do. Just letting it organically sink. And I'm waiting for my line to kind of start moving. Not moving weight, but just moving a little bit. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Jay's dealing him, baby. Jay is dealing him. We're on our Jismin deal here. Oh, <laughs> they just come in in a flock, dude. For some reason, boys and girls, I'm actually enjoying this. You gotta go try this. Jay, if they don't take, if they, if they don't live up to the expectations you said, the way they, the way Jay was talking about it, it was like he's never eaten something like it. Get him, get him. You guys see, like, <laughs> your line will kind of, as you're going to, you kind of, all you want to do is kind of just lift up your line because, like I said, we don't have leverage, just free lining. Kind of want to just lift up your line, see if I can demonstrate it right here with a fish. Yep, look, look, there he is. Just like that. Just like that. You want to lift up your line and you'll kind of see it's scoped off off to the side and I let this one choke it way too long but that's why we have a bunch of hooks they have the gnarliest teeth you do not I repeat you do not want to get your hand stuck in that Jay let me see a hook we're getting into him we're getting into him here do you, do you see one come up for the scraps oh oh <laughs> Give me a hook. We're using number eight size beak hooks. You want a long shank because you guys see they got gnarly teeth. You don't want them to swallow it or anything. Wait, I got a puffy? Yeah, he's so small. I just had a puffy. What? Wow. Get get the get a light on. I feel like that's a keeper. Nah. Yeah, you can't clean that. Uh, did you see that thing skirt away? Oh, you're too old. <laughs> you saw that, right? Ready for this? Watch. <laughs> the last one was the same size that you made me like out. He ain't that small, dude. Yeah. I feel like there are every little dock like this back in the river. You know what I'm saying? That's nice, nice, Jay. You freaking laid into that thing. Jay, 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 Jay. Oh, yeah. These ones aren't fighting today. Am I wrong? <laughs> Is that not petite? Get him, Jay. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. You bye bye. Look how sick this is. Look at this. Look at this snap. This dog snapper's blue line. Unreality. Swallowed my hook though. Top of the morning. All right, we just changed locations and uh, we're at a boat ramp now. And CJ spotted some nice toadies. Or actually, I spotted some nice toadies right off the bat. Where'd they go? Look, and we got. Look at this one right here eating a little piece of shrimp. Look at how cool they look in the water. Right there. Hey buddy. Jay, this one might eat. Got him going over here? Oh, right here, right here. Right here. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah. Pitch it, push it. Jay, Jay, Jay. Watch it, watch it, gonna smoke it. Oh, get him, get him. <laughs> <laughs> Literally sight fishing nice toadies. We put the chum back in, so hopefully we get them really aggregated here. I would catch Jay. This one ain't too bad over here. You're joking. I'm not. They're conjugated in the mangroves, like three of them. What are you talking about? Jay just pitched over to the mangroves here, because he sees some. See him? Off of the tree? Ooh, ooh that's a night. He's coming in. Two He's of them. Two. Where's my shrimp? There it is. Right there. 
Oh, he's going for it. I don't Giant. see my shrimp. Go for it. There he goes. There he goes. He's, he's got it. Eating. He's got it. He ate it. Get him. Get him. He didn't eat it. Why does he look so much bigger? Wait, hold him up for the camera before you put him. Why do they look so much bigger in the water? Puff him up. Jay. Broke off. I'm gonna get the hooks in here. Puff up. They're such, such cool looking fish. Checkered puffer fish. If you guys haven't heard me already say it, they're extremely poisonous. You have to be very, very careful when um, dealing with these things. You have to know how to clean them, which I don't, CJ does. And that adds, I don't know how many we got now. I think a dozen, but I'm gonna just film CJ catch them because it seems to be that there's just a couple around. And uh, if you guys can't see these, I'm sorry. That means you need to buy a pair of Ocean Eyes sunglasses right now code adam10 at checkout 10 percent off of a link down below that's the only way we're seeing these fish water so dirty right here jay right here right in front of me nice one nice one nice one look directly in front of me with the ocean eyes drop you spooked him he's gonna Spooked eat it him. oh he ate it right in front of the leaves get him <laughs> get Oh my god, Jay! Jay! Jay sucks. I, I I really can't believe. No, show me the dock. Jay, Jay, Jay. He's right here. He's right here. Drop, 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 drop. Right on me. Right under me. Directly under me. Chill out. Oh, you smoke it? He smoked. Was that a puffer? Yeah! He came in out of nowhere. They're coming in. Jay, if we put the chum bag right here, it'd be so right, sick. Look at the size of the snook. Holy, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah, he's gonna eat a Gi piece of shrimp. <laughs> I mean, Alec caught one. Oh my god, I gotta fish a finger mole. He would eat, oh my god, he'd smoke a mango or something. Look at him, look at the snook going up at the chum bag. Jay, put a whole shrimp on, put a whole shrimp on. You will not hook this thing. Come here. <laughs> yeah, on that hook. Nice. Oh my god, look at this thing. I, I spotted. I spotted him from a distance. Jay, nice one. look. Oh, Jay, Jay, pitch at him. <laughs> oh, he's getting... <laughs> he ate it on top. I'm not gonna tell you anything because now you get all salty. You just don't do it nice. <laughs> it looks so dumb because you go to hook set and it just flies out of the water. Well, you hook set while he's facing him so you gotta get at the right angle. It's so sick seeing him just swim in the shallows here. They're coming out of the mangrove lines, dude so funny we're just walking here in the shallow sight fishing jay jay's freaking whacking him <sighs> really feel like just sight fishing him jay i'm telling you you gotta put the back in. jay's whacking him they actually take a lot longer to eat than you think like when you're looking at them look he smells it Smells it? Oh, he doesn't. That's a big one. Is he spooked? Oh, drop it, drop it. Oh, he turned on it. Oh, he's on it. 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 He's smoking. He got it. Got it. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, he was pulling hard. That's a unit. Look at, wait, what did he just cough up, Jay? Was he eating oysters? Look, he was eating little clams and oysters. Get him in the bucket, though. That's a nice one. That one will feed too. Look, see how they puff up? Jay. <laughs> it's the dumbest looking fish I've ever. Like really hot. He was cruising hot. You see how hot he got on my shrimp? He turned. He turned. Full 360 on my shrimp. See, the, pro the problem was he was going to swim past it too. If I wouldn't have seen him, he would have been gone. We're gonna try and catch a snook though, because that, I mean, a perch, because that giant snook keeps coming through. That was the first puffer that I couldn't instantly lift out of the water. All right, we caught like five or six here, and then uh, it definitely slowed down. So, we are gonna grab all the toadies and the couple snook that we do have that you guys haven't seen yet, and head over to Jib Club and clean them up for you guys. And while we're doing that, we'll probably catch some towfish there, but we'll see you guys at the flay table. All right, TJ's gonna show you guys how to clean one of these toadfish. I actually don't wanna do it because I've never done it and I don't wanna give instructions. 
So we're gonna take it away to Jay here. Oh, he's still kind of alive. Okay, All right, so grab ready? like in front of the peck fins here. So then you know kind of where to cut right behind him. Just cut, there's the backbone. And you'll hear it kind of go through, right? Just like that and stop. I like to just peel back the skin a little bit up top here. Just to kind of expose that meat. And then you got some catfish buyers. And you grab the meat and just kind of peel the whole, grab the body in the top and just peel it all back. Okay, so hold on, I'll throw it in. See all these guts and stuff? You don't not, you don't want to cut that open. That's poisonous. That's why you peel it back. With just that. Jay's got a little pile going here. And then you're supposed to rinse these off extremely well. Extremely well with salt water, fresh water, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, just be careful when you're doing it, for sure. And we are filleting using a, I believe this is a six inch Dexter blade. I'll have a link down below and you can save anything off of Dexter's website using code ADAM20. It's a super, very cost efficient and inexpensive knife. And I love them, been using them forever. Go check them out, Adam20, DexterOutdoors.com. But we're gonna clean up the snook. You guys have, you guys have seen us fillet a million snook before, a million. If you haven't, I'll have a link popping up right here to where we actually, it's actually last year, last Muller run, which is this time of year right now, we are killing the snook off the beach and we catch a couple slots and actually go over to the beach club and cook them up. So click on that video if you wanna see that video. This is a toadfish video, but we are gonna cook some snook tonight. I'm just not gonna show you cleaning of them. Beautiful specimens. We will see you guys at the beach club with all the boys. Here's what we got going on right now. We just put a new mic on the camera because our old mic was giving us so much problems. I'm so sorry for that personally. Uh, cost a lot of money, but did we had to do for the YouTube game. We got all the boys outside. We got Sam, we got CJ. I'm gonna introduce, you guys already, I mean, you guys already know him. I don't really gotta talk about it. But I've been whipping it up here in the kitchen. The kitchen is a mess, my mom's very upset at me. But we got the toadies. Look how petite these things look. We probably got 20, 25 or 30 or so. And then I also got some snook baking in the oven here. You guys, it's a very secret recipe that me and Mama Moose made, and it's unreal. Italian recipe, you know. But I'm gonna rinse these toadies off and then go outside and then show you how to fry them. I can't really show you every single step we do because I'm filming myself, but it's super simple. All I'm doing, I, I took the toadies, I let them soak in water, and I mixed them around for about five minutes to get every little last bit off of there because I was a little scared, to be honest. And then I laid them out on a paper towel, dried them really, really good, and then I'm throwing them straight into the flour. And then after the flour, I'm gonna let them sit, and then I'm gonna egg wash them and then throw them into a little panko crust. And mix it all around, make sure there's panko on everything after the flour, after the egg wash. So that's super simple, super straightforward. You guys are gonna need to see me do that. All right, I'm gonna try and film this one hand. So. Got all these floured up. That looks like a little nugget, dude. Come on. I'm gonna dip it in the egg wash. Really get it washed around. Drain it right into the bag. And then repeat that process 30 times. And then shake that around. And you guys don't need to see me do that, sadly. All right, I just took this out of the oven. Looks unreal. What do you think, Sus? Looks pretty good, man. <laughs> We're frying the toadies. Oh, I gotta take those out. This is from the recycling bill. It's a project that I thought. The hose going in. The hose coming out. It ain't even fixed. A KC special. Toadsies. Look at it. Wait a minute. Look at this, Toadsies. You didn't catch Jay. Just got done frying these toadsies. What do you think, Casey? They're very nice. These are very, very nice. We're frying yeah. up. We're fr what? Look at what? <laughs> you talking to me? <laughs> we're frying up the second batch here, and then we're gonna get everybody plated up. For some reason, I cooked the sides last. Cause I didn't think they'd take that long, but Frankie's complaining because they took a long time. <laughs> Sorry, but I know it's okay. I do understand it really. Don't. I'd be complaining too, but we're almost done. I think we're done. Yeah, you guys can get plated up. All right, we just plated everyone up. 
for some reason I did the rice last. Actually, Kaylin helped me out with the rice. Thanks, Kaylin. Alec didn't do anything. <laughs> He's smoking Typical. Stuff, I caught the snook. Yeah, he did catch the snook. Is it nice? So nice. Hey, is there more? I already ate the snook. Well, you're not eating the toadies? I am, but I want snook and rice. Well, you don't. You're not eating beans, so you don't get any. You don't get okay, any more. Okay, who serves just beans with no rice? Uh, the I'm rice has it. six minutes. Six minutes. These are nice beans. All right, I'm eating. The Matt, beans. what do you think? Lights out. Francesca's going to town on these on these wings here. I concur with Matt. Lights out. They really look like wings. I keep forgetting that they're toadies. Dark. It's the chicken of the sea. Mm-hmm. I don't know how. Much yeah, it is. Suze hasn't said anything. I've been telling He's just busting down over there. Was the snook a little... I feel like it wasn't that, like, um, like moist. Or not no, moist, uh, like, no, uh... I feel like it's, um, not enough... I feel like it's too... I feel like you know, no, it's good. It. It's very nice. Alright, I'm gonna try one of these wings. I didn't cook these long enough. He's winged. He's not crunchy enough. That snook's nice though. They're nice. Mm -hmm. I was just that was a special that was a special recipe request for the siege meister. You know me. You know Jay. Alright, he is the next day after that catch cleaning cook. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, like I said, please go ahead and drop a like on it. It really helps move and push our videos. Subscribe if you're not ready. I know I didn't really go into detail about what I was cooking, but I can tell you right now, I had a bunch of guests over and I didn't wanna Ask any of them to hold a camera for me. They were all kind of hanging out outside. And uh, I actually have a video with that exact recipe I did for the snook, which everybody loves. It's popping up right here if you want to go check it out. If not, I can tell you. So in a food processor, I put, I chopped up and diced up onions, garlic, um, butter, olive oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and parsley. That's it. And you blend it all together until you get that good consistency. Like you can spread it on the fish and then I spread it evenly on the fish, um, put it in a pan with a little bit of butter on top and then some breadcrumbs on top of those and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And then I bake that at 350 for like 25, 30 minutes. And at the 20 minute mark, I take the tin foil off and then let the top of the fish get all crispy and it's really, really good. Such a good, such a good sauce. It's oh, delicious. Super easy to make too. And then for the toadies, you guys saw, I just battered them and fried them up. Those were really good as well. Um, super simple, super straightforward, a meal that was enjoyed by everybody and it was easy to make. Like I said, thank you so much if you've stayed around this far in the video. We got some awesome, awesome designs coming out for the winter time. I can't wait to show you guys some new merchandise. Big things are coming. Stay tuned. Thank you guys so much. Till next video, moving lights out.